Two legs. Down one there, mate. Down. Okay, yep. lovely stuff. Hi guys, I'm Chris. Um, you have to bear with me. I did the PowerPoint about two months ago, so I can't actually remember what I put on it. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to wing it a little bit, but it will be good. So, uh, so basically, about myself, Alex has kindly asked me to speak just a bit, bit about my background and and how I built the business. Um, myself I was born and bred in Hawley in Surrey. I went to the University of Southampton where I met my now wife. Um, married in 2008 with two daughters, uh, and I joined the BTP in 2005. It's me on the left, quite an old photo dug up. Um, Stayed there, did roles in response, neighbourhoods, CT, public order, the whole lot. Didn't really enjoy much of it, so I decided to take a bit of a, a turn and transfer to Surrey in 2012. We did neighbourhoods, uh, CID, um, PPIU, which I think is safeguarding now, or something along those uh, lines. And then as a DC, um, I was there for a while. Why did I go into business? A um, bit of a story behind this. Uh, a very good friend of mine, Bob Kidd, uh, we grew up together since uh, we were about two and throughout his life he had three brain tumours and he's one of the most inspirational people in my life, obviously apart from shifts to success. So um, always had a passion for being in the outdoors and, and gardens, so I always did it, um, sort of on the side, so to speak. Um, I started to dislike the roles I did in the police, just not so much the people, but it's just the politics. I didn't enjoy it and I wanted to do something I really enjoyed. Um, and gardening for me was my outlet. Um, fear, that's the thing I'll come into in a minute, that held me back from actually doing anything or really going sort of full steam into business. Um, but with Bob here, then we had a nice little drink there, as you can see. Uh, an old friend as we grew up together. Uh, he was the best man at my wedding and a legend. Like I said, he had three brain tumours throughout his life. Um, first one when he was eight, then at 15, and then you know, around about 25, but each time he kept going. I mean, at the end he couldn't walk, but he still wanted to do things. He still, still drove as well, um, until he obviously couldn't. Um, and he was my first unofficial customer. Um, and then from Bob, he lived in Bath. I went there and obviously did his garden. Um, and it was at the point I was thinking, oh, you know, what can I do? I, I can't do this. I can't do anything. Um, and he basically said, you know, do my garden. I'll get you a few customers. So I did. So I started with a polo uh, and a few tools in the back of it. Uh, here's my first customer. And I got one off the back of that. Um, I've just got business interest forming with the police, so I did it part-time. Um, well, I say part-time, I was still working full-time the police, but I did it um, in the mornings or in the evenings whenever I wasn't working, and just uh, slowly grew. Um, and then Bob basically said, do what makes you happy, and that's what I did. Um, unfortunately, Bob passed away uh, in 2018. At that point, I thought, well, I'm just going to do it now. So about three weeks after he died, um, I went, well, I'm just going to do this full-time now. I went for it. Thanks to him, he gave me that confidence and I wanted to do what made me happy, so that's why I went into business. And this is what <laughs> And this is what I formed. So L and S, I'm the L, and the S is uh, my business partner, uh, Mark, who is also my best man I grew up with. Uh, we're a landscaping company. Um, like I said, we made the jump, 23rd of March 2018. That's when I first started the, the business um, full time. I had started before then. Uh, providing paving, decking, garden structures and more. We're branching into the building trade now as well. Um, Groundworks, things like that. Helping customers to achieve their out, perfect outdoor space. That's what we do. Um, we're trying to niche a little bit more, but we're still going on to that. Um, got a range of clients in private, but now pushing obviously for commercial contracts as well. Um, COVID, funny enough, has had a, a good effect on business. Not so much for other businesses, but for, for me, it's been really good the last year. We start to scale quite a lot, which is nice. Um, currently, like I said, in partnership with my best uh, man and old friend, Mark. He's the S on the L. Um, so 2019 to 2020, I joined Shift to Success and they kindly pushed me to <laughs> hundreds, under thousand pound turnover. I had started the business, like I said, in 2018. I was nowhere near that to start with. So by coming to Shift to Success, it, push me in the right direction with increased prices and things like that and sales all these bits um, on target this year for £250,000 turnover yeah. okay. we're not there yet but we're going to get there so that's the aim by April we will uh, be hitting that um, a win for me as well I'll get a lot more family time I left the job like I said in 2018 I've grown the business thanks to shifts of success um, and all sorts of the, the support you see on the Facebook page um, I'm able to spend a lot more time with my daughters, 
and my wife going a lot more holidays now as well. And that for me is the success that I sort of pride in the most. Um, thank you. The cheese like our holidays, like I said, I can see my business through the recession and pandemic. I'll take that as a win as well. Um, and I've invested in property now with my business partner and we're looking at growing that as well. Um, so that for me um, are my wins. Future, well for me, growing the business further with staff. We've had a few this year, but we're going to grow it next year. That's the idea. Um, going online, people laughed at me when I said that, but I'm going to prove them wrong. Um, investing in further properties and vertical gardens on the larger scale. Um, that's an up and coming thing in the future. Um, it's still relatively new, but a lot of research going on that and watch this space on that one. Um, my top tip, I've only got one. And um, for me, it's um, don't let fear stop you like it did me. It took me to lose a very good friend and obviously meeting shift to success to actually grow a pair and get out there and do my business. Don't let fear stop you, just do it. If you want to do it and it makes you happy, then then just do it. That's my tip. No other tips. <laughs> yeah. no, quick thank you. Obviously, uh, just my wife and daughters, they can't be here. Uh, Isabel and Zoe and Sue. And obviously, it's Alex and Shifter Six Mentors for getting me out of my comfort zone and growing my business to where I am now. Hopefully, I'll go further. Well, I will go further, I can say that much. And uh, <laughs> look forward to, to see all your inspirational stories as well on Facebook. So, thank you very much. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Thank you.